Hi everyone, Jason from Makera here with another machine tutorial. And in this one, we're learning how to send manual commands to our CNC machines. This can be done on any of our CNC's from the Carvera to the Carvera Air and even the new Makera Z1. All CNC's operate following a series of coded commands typically written in G code that's generated by CAM software. But the Carvera controller app also allows you to manually send G code, M code and console commands directly to your CNC machines. Now before we begin, it's important to understand that there really isn't any reason to manually send a command to your CNC under normal operating circumstances. This is because most functions that you may need to do can be completed using the drop down and diagnostic menus in the Carvera controller app with greater ease. But sometimes you need to diagnose or troubleshoot something and the ability to send a manual command can be a really powerful tool to do so. But proceed with extreme caution because sending a manual command essentially gives you full control of your CNC without any safeguards in place to prevent you from doing more damage than good. You can find a list of support codes on our wiki for all of our CNCs. Here you'll find the specific command as well as a brief description and an example on how to enter the code as many of them have specific parameters to include for the operation that's to be completed. For example, let's say I want to manually release a tool from the spindle of my Carvera. I can launch the Carvera controller app and connect to my machine, then switch from the file window to the MDI window. Here I can enter the M command to release a tool, which is M490.2. I want to ensure that I'm supporting the tool prior to sending this command, as once the spindle opens, it will drop. I could also manually load a tool and secure it in the spindle collet using a similar fashion by using the command M490.1. There are also some commands that you might want to send while your machine is actually in operation as well. In this case, you may need to pause the machine first in order to send a new command as you cannot interrupt a current operation if one is in progress. For example, I can pause my CNC and send the command M851 space S50 to manually turn on the dust collector through the external port where S50 represents a suction power of 50%. Or I can pause my machine and send the command M220 space S20 to reduce my cutting feed to 20% if I need to slow my machine down. After sending these types of commands, I can then resume my machine to continue cutting the part with the newly adjusted parameters. But again, most of these functions can be completed from the user interface of the controller app without needing to manually send a command and you must use extreme caution whenever sending a manual command to your CNC. So I hope you find this tutorial to be helpful, but of course, if you do need assistance in any type of troubleshooting or diagnostics, don't hesitate to reach out to our support team that's available 24 seven, so we can walk you through it with greater success. Thanks for watching, and of course, stay tuned for more on the official Makera channel.